The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a put unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. In comparing with the previous tape, the corporate witness, what we are going through, the way that the woman should be subordinated to her husband, is of absolutely great importance that you and I have to learn the reality how we need to be obedient to Christ's word. The reality that you and I have to be a greater corporate witness in this intensified stage of the angelic conflict. A greater truth of reality wherewith we are here to be communicating and to be communicated to the people who could be our listeners, either through the holy walk of life or witnessing through life, either through the witnessing of our lips when we could do practically to the proverb which says action speaks more louder than the words this corporate witness was where, where whereas many people have failed to know where many people have failed to look where many people have failed to consider the greater importance in this Christian institute of marriage is of a great failure when the woman fails to respond the doctrine that should be resident in her soul. The man who is going to get married to her, this man should be a man of doctrine. The woman whom is going to get married to her she has to be a woman of doctrine. Not with the false doctrine, false teachings of the trends of apostasy that are practicing through, but with the true doctrine and the true mind of Christ. The only principle of reality that you and I have to face in the church age is that we as the believers in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have failed to give top priority more than the physical breath we take and the physical food we consume to the reality in the word of the Lord. The mutual responsibility of both spouses is forgiving each other just as Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of our Father in Christ also has forgiven you there is no virtue when the past failures of a spouse are remembered. Forgiveness is always a function of grace. Each spouse bears the other's failures by relying on his own relationship with God and confidence in his plan centered in Christ. When two believers unite in matrimony and advance to spiritual maturity together, God is glorified and, cheer, and angels cheer consequently. And constantly, they will be cheered day in and day out. Consequently, Christian marriage stands as an intense battleground, not for war between husband and wife, but for ongoing combat between the married couple and the schemes of Satan. His subtle and overt offenses are abundant, trivializing adultery and divorce, promoting communal living, disregarding the divine institution of one man, and one woman in marriage, reversing male and female roles, feminism, homosexuality, lesbianism, all of these perversions are effective weapons against the union of man and woman. In addition to these attacks, Satan steps up his invasion of Christian marriage with distractions and pressures aimed at determining the spiritual life of each spouse. For as goes the spiritual life, so goes the marriage of the individual believers. And nowadays, Satan has been successful in the great client nation as well. When it has been given to the so-called rulers the permission for lesbianisms, 
the permission for homosexuality legally they call it and the way how satan attacks how satan steps up to take this invasion upon the christian marriage so that this christian marriage should not cause our lord and the angels to cheer day in and day out when they reach the maximum glorification when they are leading to the process of greater revolution through this angelic conflict it wants to break down the christian marriages and it's pathetic to note that the great usa client nation to god has been absolutely nullified with the so-called satanic invasions neither they are worried what is a marriage neither they are worried the true witnesses that the country was been based down purely upon doctrine not by any other methods they have a inscription upon their coin in god we trust they have the deliverance purely upon the doctrine they knew it very well when it has been formed in 1776 but today the so called leaders thinking that liberalism thinking that we can be a social gospel we can be xyz they should learn from the arabs they should learn from the muslim nations that how strict they are towards their religion how strict they are to follow the things pertaining to god and how strict they are in entertaining the true words of god and how is it there been a great failure for them not to realize the great truth of bible that dear brethren the greater the failure to understand the importance of the word of the lord the greater the failure for them to follow and to take up into mind the invasions of satan so dear brethren how you are going to ponder over these things that is left to you but remember and be very careful whenever you pass down for lesbianism or homosexuality against the nature of god you will definitely come to know to learn from the animals as well that it is not a male with a male but rather it is a male with a female even during their heat when they go through for their satisfaction at least learn from the animals not social liberalism social gospel that can change when you give them the freedom of their life telling that it is better for them to follow lesbianism it is better for them to follow homosexuality it is better for them to follow bestiality as well learn from the animals which cannot speak and know the importance of the marriage and this corporate witnesses we shall continue next time father we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word we pray that lord god the holy spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it also a blessing and challenge our in lord for we ask in christ's name father amen